Hey guys, this is about a 10.36 a.m. in South Carolina. It's already hot. What I got behind me is a hot deal. <laughs> it's, uh, it, is, it is hot, ain't it? It's about 89 degrees already, so you, you got to have a good air conditioning, which this motorhome has. This is Sachin with RV Max US in Greenville, South Carolina. Today, we're going to talk about this 2018 Tiffin Red RED Model 37 PA, Papa Alpha. 38 and a half feet long because you got to count the mirror and a ladder. It's a 37 foot box, quad slide, beautiful mud home. Only it's actually one owner. The guy had it all the way up until like six months ago or five months ago. Second owner in South Carolina bought it. Yep, Baxter, the dog said yes, that's right. It's a two South Carolina owner. Beautiful windshield, I don't see any cracks or star cracks. Yes, Baxter. Baxter is talking over there. Uh, we got a slide out generator. Actually, the face opens up. So let's check it out. We got about 56,000 miles. We'll make sure when we're inside. So it opens up. It's easy to do maintenance. Generator is 8,000 watts. 191. It was a 189 last time. We'll put two hours on it. So Let's go through this side. It's got four slide outs. Oh, by the way, this door is open. Let's show it to you. These are your components right here. So do not wash the compartment. That, that comes from factory. It's still there. Uh, resettable fuse for chassis side. I mean, a coach side. Or chass chassis side, I'm sorry. The front. We've got dual fill. You can fill diesel here. Or on the other side, no foggy windows. 18 model. Front of the motorhome. It's, it was in really good shape. I guess you missed it, but it was good. It, it, it may have a couple of little scratches. Uh, look at all our pictures. So, beautiful paint scheme. I don't know what do you call that. Burgundy, white, tan, gray, burgundy, tan again, comes silverish gray. Beautiful full paint. Gorgeous coach. So, let's open up some compartment too while we're at it. By the way, new Michelin tires. I'm kind of jacked right now. I just had my hot tea. Michelin tires, they're less than six months old, brand hammer new. So you got about a five, fifty-five hundred dollars worth of upgrade right there. New tires, that's always a great thing. All right, we got a new batteries, uh, interstate batteries. These are four batteries that runs your household refrigerator inside. We got a brand new two additional chairs that go with a booth dinette. We got an extra tile, and none of the tiles are cracked. But if it ever get cracked. And you see the pass-through storage. It's their entry-level coach, but it's, it's, it's packed with a lot of stuff. Well, you know, I love the lights there. What do you call those uh, motion lights? I love that. You don't have to go turn a light on inside and then turn it on here. That's flavor right there. It just comes on. There's a vacuum system on the other side, I see. This is your typical wet bay. And I love what Tiffin does. They put that water pump right here, not behind this wall anywhere. Water filtration system gray and black tank discharge uh pretty simple got a little all right we got a little alcohol to clean up city water connection tank flush so you could do sewer flush so big slide look at this back bedroom slide from here to there and other two slides are really big too i'll show you when we get on the other side so we got a deaf fluid over here it's actually full tank look at that full tank Diesel is full too. And we have an arm power, 50 amp power cord reel. I call it a power cord reel, arm power. Hey, you want one of those electric? Uh, you can buy one for seven, eight hundred bucks. Install it and you can have a, that is your uh, surge guard protection built into the uh, uh, automatic transfer switch. I'm not a big fan of those other surge guard there outside. Sometimes they block too much. That is a access for your air cleaner or air filter. And this is a Truma Aqua Go, a better than Aqua Crap that some other diesel motorhome has. They're about a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars upgrade. It's continuous water heater, water heating, and you could take a long shower. That little scrub right here could probably come off on a buff. Maybe not, but it could be a little bit better. That's a little scuff I noticed. Back cap is in great shape. You got a ten thousand pound towing capacity, grease type three hitch. You got an ISB six seven. 6.7 liter, 360 horsepower Cummings turbo diesel engine. Rides on a Freightliner custom air chassis. Yes, it is, it is Gaffney, South Carolina, because you know, it's Tiffin. Sometimes it could be Power Glide, but this is a 
just right down the road from us. Shout out to uh, Freightliner. So you've got a nice big mud flap on the bottom. It says Allegro Red. So if you're going to be towing your car, it'll help protect your paint and shine. It's not going to throw some rocks. Nice little exhaust tip into the back cap. That reminds me of a country coach styling, man. That's nice. A uh, little scrub here, but it's not, you know, it could be buffed out. Um, we got dual heat, one here, one there. You'll see it. Roof is in great shape, by the way. I think you got the roof video. Okay, Nicole is shaking her head, yeah. That is your plug if you were gonna be camping in Alaska. That should be your uh, a block heater. Hopefully you won't never need that. I don't know why people won't wanna camp in Alaska in the winter. You go there in July, June, hot like this. That's your chassis components, like computers and stuff. Over here, we got a slide out, control boards, chassis, batteries and there's a chassis cut off on the other side where we showed the interstate battery there was another cut off there for coach by the way i see little ding here it's hard to see but right here hard to see but it's there so hey i like to nitpick coaches i'm not perfect nobody is but you are more nitpicker than i am and you find another scratch you get that for free absolutely no extra charge we're trying to show our coaches the way they are by the way all slide out toppers are in great shape we changed the one on uh, driver side rear had a little hole we put a new topper um let's see aqua wheels new michelin tires that's a back access panel for your refrigerator that is your gravity fill for water i love that part that you know sometime if you had some dry camping place and you don't have a hose you could take a 20 gallon of those blue water tank and keep filling it up and keep dry camping. So that's a gravity fill for your water tank, fresh water tank. Same pass through storage. Look at the fabric, looks so new, no sign of abuse. This coach is in extra, extra clean condition for a five year old being 18. We've got a central vacuum system that I'll show you inside. Outside entertainment, TV, it's a smart TV, another uh zone of uh, lp heat same thing here we got uh some plugins here 12 volt cigarette lighter plug-in i don't know what they, they've been doing it for years they haven't changed that because they did have a 12 volt black and white tv but hey you could use that for cell phone charger now i don't know this is your propane tank it goes horizontally that way um well it is horizontally but east to west instead of a and you got your hydraulic component right here for hwh leveling jacks and we've got a nice patio awning made out of acrylic you got led lights in here as you can see acrylic lasts a long time almost a lifetime versus those slide out toppers they're vinyl or some cheaper motorhomes they have a vinyl uh patio awning they'll tear up in a few years this is a lifetime same thing for the entrance awning that is acrylic dual fill for your fuel and i think maybe a couple of places i missed there were a couple of minor scratches like this okay surface scratches okay no no big deal on no uh, body damage here's the three little dings yeah that, maybe it was this side I, I we walked through the other day and we had an audio problem sound this is a take two <laughs> maybe a little fast but uh we have a guys that can buff this coach for about 800 bucks or something or you could buff it yourself buy this beauty and buff it yourself and fall in love with it all right, let's go inside and show you inside how nice this coach is. Before we go inside, video still rolling? All right, awesome. Look at this chrome accented door handle, not black. I like that, I really do. And you got this Tiffin uh, logo, Tiffin specialty for window. This is really good if you're backing up at a campground or something. There's some bushes or some, and you as a driver, you can see it. Your wife's looking out for you in the front, on the back. You could be looking out in the front too. This is really nice. All right, uh, let's go inside. All right, now that we are inside this coach, look at this. This slide is not a full slide, but it seems that way. It's major, big slide on a kitchen. Then you got a slide out on this side. Got nice fireplace here, midship TV, beautiful cherry, dark cherry. I guess that's what you, that's what I would call it. Nice sofa, no peeling on the furniture. Kind of leather. Uh, accented pillows and this this bed obviously turns in a big bed right here um it's actually 
So Villa Furniture, you got a recliner here. We've got a day and night shades. Just a kiss simple. Keep it simple, stupid. No electric shade, just, you know, just a normal shade. All right. We've got some, uh, hey, Tiffin Motorhome. I think Bob Tiffin signed this. There we go. Bob Tiffin signed hat that goes with a coach. How about that? So this coach, been, it's been in North and South Carolina, as I, as I said earlier. Um, it was sold at Adventure Motorhome, so not, not far from here. Seats are in really good shape. Again, no tattered up, no upholstery problem. We'll go over the cockpit area when we get on the road. All the books and records are here. You got an LG Smart TV. Got three of them in here and one outside for. That's your owner's manual and all the books and records right here. Lots of storage. Look at this. This is a leather upholstery too. Good shape, no tears or peeling like you see some of those coach. Carpet in good shape, by the way. No smoke of any pats or uh, smoke odor, especially. We don't sell smoke odor coaches, but you know, there's some out there, I guess. Um, Hey, that gimbal pack don't go with it. That's that's Nicole's. All right, we've got some more remotes in here, and uh, I like the fact that it has a nice little uh, ledge here. You know, to put some. It just reminds me of I don't know why, but years ago we had a motorhome. We were in Tampa, and I had a big Cuban sandwich roll. You can put all kinds of stuff here. Now look at that little centerpiece. Nice, and the wooden. Window frame, that's really nice. Over here, we got a nice kitchen. It consists of three burner gas stove. Pretty clean. Got a dual sinks. Pull out sprayer, got nice backsplash in the back. That's a real solid backsplash that matches this Korean, Korean countertop. By the way, I like the fact it has a regular traditional stuff. You don't see them in a lot of diesel pusher. You know, they just have convection oven, which this one is a convection oven. So you got convection oven plus traditional Grandma Smith, uh, Grandma, what do you call the Grandma Smitty or Grandma Smith? Or what do you call it? You can, you can cook your pies in there. And this slot right here, you can put your kitchen uh, countertops or the covers. Lots of storage up on top. We've got a really nice Whirlpool residential refrigerator. I mean, it's pretty large. With an ice maker on the bottom, on the freezer. We've got some pantry, pull-out pantry, which is really nice to have. I love this big slide. It's got a lot of room. By the way, real tile on the floor. Carpet's in great shape. Real tile on the floor. And I think I did mention the fireplace. I did. I don't know. I'm going in a circle, but yes, I am going in a circle. We're going back here. We've got a nice size bathroom. This reminds me of 45 AH floor plan that Phaeton has. This red floor plan is pretty similar to 40, 40 AH. This is a 37 PA, so short motorhome but still got a plenty of room. Look at this uh, double vanity with a big medicine cabinet, lots of drawers and storage under there, and a good size shower right here. Look at that. Nice, solid shampoo holder box or whatever. And then I love what Tiffin does. So you get the skylight or you can close. Let's see. And then you got LED lights. There you go. That's uh, pretty clever. So if you don't want a lot of sunlight, you just close that. And you got a nice, uh, you unlock that. And you got a glass enclosed. Shower, just got to remember, pre-flight checklist, you lock this before you take off so this thing don't slam back and forth and break it or anything like that. I haven't seen any tile cracks or anything like that. If you find one, you get it for free. I'm kind of nitpicker at it. I don't see any damage on the tile. This thing is very well kept. Second owner didn't have it long enough before he traded in on a, a bigger 
45 foot tag axle. So back here we got our little privacy door for bedroom. Come on in the bedroom. You can you can come from the other side too. Let's see. It has another another door that comes from the bathroom area. So you can access bathroom from here, which I kind of like that. So you know, the guests are sleeping in the front, they can access the uh, toilet area, shower area at night, and you got the bedroom back here closed. So you got two doors for a bedroom. One going into the bathroom and one here in a hallway. Both windows are a really nice thing, man. I like to crack my window open a little bit. If you are parked at some state park with the water outside, stream running down, man, that's a, uh, God, it's, it's put me in the mood of going, go out there and camp. That's a, uh, uh, this couple took this coach all the way to Key West. And look at the carpet, it's in clean, extra clean shape. You got nice little vanity area. Uh, another uh, smart TV here, some storage here, storage there, a uh, little laundry hamper. And back here, talking about laundry, you got a washer and dryer uh, combo here. And I can't believe how clean this thing is. It's in really, really clean shape. Got a motion light. I like that. How about that? Okay, so we got a nice little... Uh, oh, that one too is a motion light. I love it. You got a resettable fuse back here. And let's see what's on the other side. It does have a central vacuum system. By the way, I missed it, but there is your temperature thermostat control for your Truma Aqua Go. It's almost like Aqua Hot, but huh, I would say it's a lot better than Aqua Hot, okay? Those people have Aqua Hot out there, man. I've got, I don't want to get into the lecture. LP, keep it simple. Stupid. K-I-S-S. -S. Okay, over here we got a 120 circuit breaker. So if you're at campground in the summertime, especially like 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 now, something trip, it's over here. Unless it's tripped outside of the campground. Okay, I did see under the bed earlier, while we're before pre-video, there are all the vacuum hoses are here. And extra accessories. And got a little bit of a storage under there. Let's see, where is our central vacuum? We see that on the way out. Right there it is. That's your vacuum right here. The vacuum hookup. That's fantastic. I love that having a central vacuum system. I guess we're back in the living room. Lots of space with the four slide outs. Uh, so overall, this is a great coach as you see inside out. Uh, Let's go over to the cockpit area and hit the road and give you, uh, give you feedback how it drives. All right, the cockpit consists of, you got a backup monitor, left signal monitor, right signal monitor, and a monitor that shows you left, right, and a rear at the same time. Dash air, air condition is great. You got a little cubby right here. You got generator crank off and on button, map lights, radio if you want to turn radio off while you're driving or you want to leave it on on the uh, camp mode. It's a Tiffin motor home. It's got navigation, Bluetooth, all that. Night shade just come down here on the top. You got a solar shade. I call that a, a like a sun visors. Driver fan. You got a nice driver fan. Step cover. You hit the step cover and it comes out slowly but surely. It covers the hole up. And then you have a passenger seat has a recliner. You see those two buttons? One is a four. Yeah, that's the button for that. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, there is a, so that's a nice little feature for a person in a, all right. And uh, you come, come back in here. We got a USB hookup. And uh, you also have a regular cigarette lighter. And two more USB here. So got plenty of USB to go around, charge stuff. On your left, you got a wiper blade stuff. You got a headlights off and on. And your dash, dimmer, brightness, it's right here. Odometer is 53,000 miles. You got a tack meter here. You got a depth meter here. Your fuel gauge, battery, speedometer, front PSI, front tank is one. Number two is rear. That's your air tanks or air level, I mean your air pressure. People have never had a motorhome. You need to get it up to about 110, 120 before you take off. Um, all PSI and the temperature, 
those are the important gauges and of course you got a little joystick here you see you could you could change all kinds of stuff here um, and you could do reset not available but you could do all kinds of um, diagnostic and stuff um, six-speed Allison emergency brake is right here you got another uh, two USB plug in here if you wanted to put another camera or something you got a power mirrors heated mirror on this side both the power mirror works and yeah, we're doing a PDI everything works auxiliary start that's to join your coach batteries to a chassis battery it's got an air horn and then you could go air horn it's got an air horn FC, ICC flash you know what that is it's called interstate commerce commission so when 18 wheeler pass you by or a truck pass you by or something and they you want them to come in they got enough room in front of you, you just hit that ICC lights and it'll just flash at the same token if someone lets you in then you hit that button it flashes the brake lights in the back all right um, exhaust brake button is right next to that ICC flash and over here you have a HWH computerized leveling next to the cup holder and that leveling by the way leveling jack has extra big rubber pads that, they're about three four hundred dollars pads so that's an added feature there uh, so if you're in some gravel or mud it'll just go down uh, better than just a plate I think that's it uh, let's hit the road all right here we go test drive on this 2018 Tiffin Red 37 Papa Alpha PA all right that ISB 67 360 horsepower definitely has a punch I just punched it and it's going baby all right let's turn the cruise on here cruise is engaged at about 40 miles an hour we're on the back roads here so you got a left turn signal as I talked in a cockpit video and right turn signal it shows up here all right and when you are driving straight you see it here you got the road and a left and a right both side I like that you could probably change that in a, a format here but I like it you got the back view looking at your tow car and a left and a right I mean rear view and then a left and a right view wow that new Michelin with a just installed two months ago it's only been gone down to Key West and back on those Michelin tires so he's got maybe right at 2,000 miles this thing rides phenomenal even on a South Carolina crappy roads that we have take my hands up and it just uh, steer straight doesn't pull left or right good running machine no noise I mean it's quiet here all I, I got a generator running right now for the roof air conditioner that's right in front very very uh, silent quiet generator what they call it. tight coach here six-speed Allison exhaust brakes let's see we're gonna get on a, um, a little open road here and check out the exhaust brakes let's see where's the radio this one is a smart radio here and it's got navigation also built into it initial setup finish finish and now you got this Sirius XM HD radio telephone and you hit navigation navigation comes up so you got a nice little navigation here and a smart radio with all the features you've got uh, air conditioning is ice cold I'm talking about it's throwing icicles it's very cold which is good uh, especially in June in the south uh, we've got a USB and a little auxiliary hookup for radio or something you want to play your phone but you, it already has a Bluetooth but um, air condition controls are here you've got a I don't know uh, uh, we went over cockpit area so there's a lot of stuff we covered here but it drives really good so the purpose of our drive video is to show you 
how easy it drives, okay? It, it, it stays straight, drives really well. We're gonna try our exhaust brake out on a little four lane highway out here. Might even get on interstate, what do you think? All right. So, before the video ends, let me go ahead and put our phone numbers. 864-404-0054 is my number. Or other numbers, 864-376-5600, 864-325-4801. We like, we prefer text communication as we're always on the phone or doing the videos or something. But if you don't know how to text, then call us, leave us a voicemail, and we'll call you back. We do take trades. We do help you get financing done. We do sell extended service contract, AKA warranties. We never push it. You can buy it on your own if you want online. Um, but certainly, uh, we do all of the above get financing, get trade, take trades and all that. Um, we also recommend some inspection if you like to have it. What we guarantee that everything will be working when you come here. Those folks want a third party inspection, you're welcome to do it, but um, a lot of time bank financing, they have their inspections too. All right, what, what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna get on the highway and just show you how it cruises on the highway speed. All right, we are on a highway at about cruising speed, about 55, 60 miles an hour. Uh, cruise works. And here we go, we're gonna test our uh, exhaust brakes. Yeah, I got it uh, at the right speed now on the exit ramp. I'm doing almost 60, but it's a long. So now this is what we're gonna test our uh, exhaust brakes. I let go of my fuel. Yep, exhaust brake is engaging. Oh yeah, it, it stops you so well. Exhaust brake just, and that's a good feature to have in a diesel. Uh, I gotta actually put some fuel to get it back on the traffic light because we're slowed down so much. So exhaust brake works, let's see. Wipers works. And on our PDI, which stands for pre-delivery inspection, we check most of the stuff including headlights, marker lights, turn signals, brake lights. It stays plugged in at our lot, so it'll be, everything be working when you come pick it up. Uh, only 53,000 miles, about uh, 200 hours on generator, 189 or something. Uh, ice cold, gas, AC, everything works, radios and all that. So uh, this will conclude our video on this 2018 Tiffin Allegro Red Model 37PA turnkey condition to South Carolina, North Carolina owner in a fantastic shape, I would say, uh, with a few scratches and flaws that you saw in our video. Thank you, have a blessed day, and I am going off the air from Greenville, South Carolina. I look forward to our business from you.